Getting started into game number five. There are four wins so far. They need seven to go flawless on this trials card. Trolls of nine, a Steam Clan. Rhythm pushing straight in, very aggressive into a one versus two. You do not want to see that, especially if you have a Jade Rabbit in your inventory. That's the gun they're using this week. Joe Ray getting taken down as well. Let's switch over to another perspective. Perhaps Kuja here. See if he can get some angles off the distance. He is able to find another player who's very weak but can't finish off the kill. Trying to just find them now. Melee out. They're able to heal instantly, probably because of Wormhouse Crown Helmet now. Able to finish it off with Gamer Guy. Two versus three, I believe, on the field. Nice shots by QJ. Two versus one now. QJ finding the enemy player who has power ammo. It's a fusion rifle. QJ falls, but they are so weak. We'll see if a uh, Gamer Guy can actually do something here with his Jade Rabbit defusing a charge while this is all happening. Trying to just use that shield to his advantage. Can't quite get the defuse in time, but Rhythm's able to finish off the fight and get the defuse immediately after. Beautifully done. So two versus one. Gamer forces the hand of the enemy who has to pay attention to him while he's defusing. Trying to use that shield to protect himself, but he couldn't quite do so in rhythm that whole time. Able to look for those shots, get the melees off. So while they're distracted by Gamer who's getting defused, he's able to get the free shots on the enemy there and secure the kill, properly utilizing a two versus one scenario. Going to the next round here, rhythm. We'll see if he's a little bit less aggressive. Kuje falls instantly though. Gamer getting a response kill. One for one trade overall now. That Wormhouse Crown doing a lot of work for the enemy. Rhythm might fall here, and he does. So the Graviton Lance. We'll see QJ's response as he might get revived here. And he does get revived by Gamer Guy. See if he can get some angles happening. Weak player, enemy in front of him. Wormhouse Crown can't heal him enough. Joe Rated, can he do something as he's running for the hills? Try and use those blinks as a temporary, uh, this is temporary like teleportation move. But it wasn't enough. Couldn't it teleport far enough? Actually teleports right into the face of an enemy player. It's actually a really good enemy team here. Tied up one versus one. This most competitive match we've seen in this card so far. Perhaps the most competitive match we've seen so far from all these weeks casted. This is week number four. Very aggressive team, which is actually the... That's the Kryptonite to the Jade Rabbit here. It's only good at the longer range engagements. Quick shot on two players there as Rhythm falls again. Rhythm being very aggressive, but that's just not working out too well for him. Joe Varela trying to get disengaged from that situation. Gamer getting a melee trade off in the distance. A charge was set on the outside by the enemy. Joey's looking to get power ammo. It's not going to do too much against a fusion rifle if they can backpedal against him properly, but still able to get a revive. Joey with a sword in hand. QJ reviving Gamer Guy. See if Joey can get this res. No radar by the enemy. They have no idea they push that flank and gets a blink into a slash. One hit kill with those sword hits there. Joey pushed that flank accurately. They had no idea he was there. Pushing into a vortex. Getting the trade with the fusion rifle. There's one player remaining on the team, but it took too long, so the charge was actually detonated. So they're the defending team there, but for the defending team, even if you kill all the enemy players, if they were able to get the charge set, you still have to defuse it. And it takes a while to defuse those charges. So even though they got all the enemy team players killed, they didn't have enough time to defuse the charge. Going into round number four here, let's we'll see if this team can tie it up to two to two. Enemy team's very aggressive. Seeing a lot of people set up on the outside, looking to handle these lanes. Shots underway by that Jade Rabbit. He didn't kill an enemy player that looked like they were dead to rights. Couldn't quite finish off the other shot where they left themselves exposed a little bit. Tried taking out the heel there. QJ falling off to the side. Joey waiting for that power ammo. Looking for a shot inside. Rhythm Falls as well. This is looking dire for his team right now. Blinging up, trying to get that sword hit, but just launches downwards. Just Destiny things, perhaps. Joey trying to get the sword out. He can but doesn't find cover to take out the second enemy. One player pushed aggressively to distract Joey while the other player stood back to kite a little bit and get the shots underway. Very great display of strategy here by the enemy team. The three did one now. It seemed this might be the first time I've ever casted them losing a game. This could be the day that his team falls in a match. They're gonna have to Recalibrate the strategy here. There's a super on the enemy team. Looks like an arc staff when I saw it earlier. Let's see another perspective as Joey's trying to get the shots off. Able to get a trade. Let's look at rhythm now. He's been falling so far. Getting a revive for Jova Rated. Beautifully done behind cover. They want to stop the enemy team from getting a revive themselves. Finding another angle right there. Rhythm 
Able to get another kill. Gamer guy getting a sword ammo for himself. Long range shots. Rhythm finding another kill. Three to one on the board. The other player does not have a super as well. So we'll see what they can do about this situation. They are the defending side. So the enemy player needs to try to set the defuse. Rhythm finding an engagement close quarters. But it's not going to be that bad for him. Even though Jade Rab is a long range weapon. They're basically four versus one pushing the enemy player. And they just had a hand cannon out. Nothing much that they could do in that situation bring up those rounds two to three from the steam clan still down a round right now that's a lot better so far in that round joey actually has i know we just watched him but he has a super is that so that nova bomb so nova bomb versus a nova bomb on the enemy team as well nice opening shot 56 damage to the head so round roughly 200 damage is needed to kill an enemy player from full hp and shielding to zero Setting a cha uh, charge instantly, Jova raided. Two versus two on the supers now. Joey blinking around, trying to displace himself, make the enemy team guess. Disengaging a little bit. One pick going underway to esteem so far. Huge fusion rifle versus sword yet again. We've seen this be a trade beforehand as QJ actually falls. Three to three on the field. Bomb and a smash versus bomb and a arc staff as gamer goes down to that fusion rifle rhythm getting a kill as well joey now has a sword has a bomb rhythm casting daybreak just looking at him just looking at him he has daybreak casted nearby the charge and he knows that if the enemy team tries to engage then he has daybreak and that that charge is going to get set off if the enemy team tries to just defuse the charge then rhythm can just jump over that cover there and just throw one sword and kill them in one hit so checkmate the enemy beautifully done by rhythm rotating around joey falls arc staff cast by the enemy they're gonna just backpedal out of the situation try to bait the arc staff looks like they're ignoring rhythm no radar though so they might not even know he exists there rhythm gains some shots in the distance habitually switching to his energy weapon in that situation which is the right call but this is a jade rabbit card so he needs to use the jade rabbit as much as possible Ah, uh, jumps over the rock for some reason. I'd love to see him take cover behind the rock while reloading. You don't want to be aggressive while reloading. It's not a good situation. Kujay, the last guardian standing. Sword in hand with a super. Can he jump around? Juke, duck, dive, get a sword off. He can't quite do so. It's going to be three to four now. Enemy team having a round lead over Steam so far. This is not looking too good for the scene. This is the worst situation I've seen them in ever that I've casted. The, the closest game I've seen so far is in survival four to two. This is three to four on the enemy team having an advantage on the rounds. First team to six rounds wins it. Super in hand for Kujay. Does he want to use it? a pick happening for esteem now? That's actually huge. Is Kujay rotating to the back levels. Getting those angles happening. Remember, no radar or so. He just displaced himself on the map. The enemy team had no idea he existed there. Arc grenade is huge. That's going to kill him off. If the Jade Rabbit didn't do so beforehand, as it did. Beautifully done. You love seeing players like that do the checkmate situations where enemy players are in a 1v2 and you have a clean angle of free shots. Right there, even, he threw a grenade. So no matter what, even if he dodged around and he missed his last Jade Rabbit shot, the Grenade would have finished them off. Looking on that high ground, still has a super. A lot of super is being held onto right now by both teams. Very odd to choice that both teams would use these supers so much. Joe Verrete getting it straight on an arc staff with that bomb. Getting revived as well as he pushes back in. On that plant, they're looking to defuse. There's only one player left on the enemy team. Right there with a the fusion rifle as Joey goes down. QJ dying to the bomb as well. Gamer, though, able to get the reefs, uh, the, the diffuse happening. Looks like as QJ died to the bomb, the enemy team was able to just do that as a trade only. So they're able to get the clean diffuse five to four now. The round advantage for the first time in this game in favor for a steam match point right now. Esteem Clan, I would love to tune in to QJ right here. He's the only person on the entire game who has a super right now. That is a huge commodity. We'll have to see if he can get a good arc staff off. Right now, popping it. Going straight into the enemy team. Can he get killed? That's one. Pushing towards the enemy. Can he get a second? Dodging around. 
if he doesn't get more kills, he's at least being a distraction for the enemy. So his team is able to get some shots off. That slam from up above, jumping up at high to displace himself, make himself harder to get shots on. And then just immediately slamming to the ground, getting a nice AOE, covering a large distance very rapidly and finishing off that last player, getting the victory for Steam using a non-meta weapon, Jade Rabbit. Able to adjust the strategies because so far that game, they were being very aggressive because they were just kind of rolling over all these other teams for the first time in a very long time. A team puts up a very good fight against them. And the enemy team there, their strategy was just to be aggressive. The team was just using Jade Rapids, which is a very disadvantaged weapon in close quarters, very advantageous at long range. So before, they were just being very aggressive to finish rounds faster. They were just stomping over teams anyway, but they were punished because the other team was effectively taking that aggression in close range, getting 2v1s, getting 2v2s with their SMGs against the Jade Rapids of Esteem. Just doing a really good job of getting those kills happen instantly, working working their advantages. Esteem had to adjust. He had to start baiting the enemy team. Had to start having one player be kind of the bait while the other player set long range and get ready to take off those shots long range and lay in that cover fire, which is what you saw them do later on. And as that super economy started happening, you saw a lot of players... Holding on to supers because a scene was behind on rounds and that was a huge economy. You don't want to use your huge economy sources like your supers and then just be shut down instantly. So you have to make sure you use that for the right situation. The enemy team had a little bit more room to work with because they had round leads. However, because the team's strategy was adjusting to where they were backpedaling more and taking more range, if you pop a super, all you're going to do is just run a long time into the enemy and they can just backpedal, cut you out, and just shoot you while you're trying to cover that distance. So you saw them using those supers, holding on to them, eventually using them. And a team was able to just use those supers a little bit more effectively than the enemy team. Able to use that strategy adaptation more to their advantageous uh, side there. More to their advantage. And now loading into game number six. Seeing these KDs, QJ loving way sees. Not the best of stats that you've seen so we'll see it looking like it might be a little bit of an easier card or a little bit even easier of a match for this team here we'll have to see what happens as game number six uh goes underway in just a moment 